All right, so I'm going to do a video that is kind of new on this channel. Um, and I'm going to get in a whole lot of trouble because 80% of my viewers or 82% of my viewers, uh, recently I actually saw 90, about 80 to 90% of my viewers are women. Okay. And, and I, I say that and I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, on the podcast platforms, however, 100% of my viewers are male. So I'm not, I'm not sure why that is an interesting, <laughs> interesting factoid there. Um, but I'm going to be doing what you see on the screen and a lot of people, some people, some women on here, and they're probably going to agree with me. Um, others are kind of liberal and I know because they've emailed me, um, on, on issues I've talked about here that they don't agree. So I can imagine this is going to get me in a whole lot of trouble. I'm ready for it. Um, okay. So the reason that I'm doing this is I'll say it this way. The reason that I'm doing this is because politics has become so terrible that we've allowed feminism and and I think feminism is destroying our our planet I think it's destroying our world and how much you want to bet half the women are like gone goodbye good. click we're out of this video but it's gone to the point where people think there's an actual pay gap myth and for a long time when I was a lot younger a little younger I thought so too I'm only in my mid 20s and when I was like 18 19 20 years old oh I absolutely thought there was a pay gap myth I, I, I was like, yeah, there's absolutely a pay gap myth. There, uh, uh, not a pay gap myth. I absolutely thought there was a pay gap. I thought women were being paid less than men. I thought women should deserve the same as men. I thought, you know, this whole thing. And, and uh, you know, yes, women's wealth has gone down. Yes, men's wealth has gone down. The, mav the average medium income has gone down. Da -da 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 -da, right? So, but there's, I started studying. I started studying. And what our colleges are telling us is that women should earn the same as men and women of uh no matter what job it is so like if you have a pilot and he's been doing this for a year he should be paid the same as a first officer who's probably been doing this for 25 30 years and has you know 30,000 flying hours i don't think so i think that the first officer should be paid more i think the captain that's been doing this for 40 years should be should be uh should be paid more than the guy who's been doing this for 20 years. I'm sorry. It's just, you've earned your keep. So this, uh, is just Pearl. Um, but she goes by just pearly things. And, uh, her name is Pearl Davis and she, uh, debunks a lot of myths of feminism. And she's one of the only badasses on the internet that's doing this. Now you might be asking, why are you doing this? Well, because this ties into the political world and how politics is driven by feminism unfortunately so let's go ahead and watch this is the pay gap myth real okay now this feminist is very unhinged and you're gonna see that she tries to move the goalpost, and they're gonna tell her something and she tries to move again to because she just got told off watch but this is this is why this is why earlier i brought in history mm -hmm. and the fact that there was a point where women we weren't even allowed in education so in terms of financially men have already had their head start that's why i would say that okay, women, they tend to be homeless because men have had the head start from... That's why I'm saying our generation is going to change things a lot mm -hmm. because in terms of women are going to be able to catch up a lot more. Speaking mm -hmm. for the mic. So women are going to be able to catch up a lot more. Um, yeah, I feel like we can't ignore history when it comes to... When you're considering financial, the financial position of men and women, you can't ignore history. I just get totally sick of that. You know, when it comes to like the finances because I've worked in jobs. And I've earned the same as the men. And when they talk about all this pay gap and that the men have had it and the women have had it, as far as I'm concerned, there's no reason why a woman can't go out there and get paid the same money for, as she's same qualified, same qualified, same qualifications, same job, same experience. I've done it. I've done it. And I've also got a pay rise every year. I've never, ever worked. I had a man on the same role as me same experience earn more than me so when they and you're talking about 
the old generation. I'm the old generation. But what I'm trying to say. What sector is this? What sector is this? Before I let it go on, that's the exact argument that one of my best friends has said to me. Well, what if you have a guy like you and me and we work in the same business and uh, uh, you got paid more? That rarely happens. It, it's it's not, okay? Uh, this woman just said it. This woman is at least in her late 50s, mid to late 50s, early 60s. She's She, she is history, okay? So... You cannot sit here saying, oh, my God, the women have really been so bad and the men have had it all because there are women. My mom has been in the same job and she gets paid exactly what everybody else gets paid. OK, a lot of women complain that, oh, my God, Josh here gets paid more than I do. Even if he's there two days longer than you, he's probably going to get paid more. Maybe Josh has a degree and you don't. Even if the degree has nothing to do with that job, Josh is probably going to get paid more than you. Okay? That's just the way the world works. Maybe Josh has been there for a couple months longer. Maybe Josh got a promotion. Maybe he stays overtime and you don't. There's a lot of things. Maybe he doesn't take sick time. You do. You're probably a mom. You have kids. That man probably doesn't take PTO. As much you do, you have kids, and it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying there's factors that go into it, and exactly uh, today we have it. Women have it all; they can go and get a job, the same as a man. Transport is management this, in transport, okay. and it doesn't matter where are it these, is because wherever you go, you these, can get paid. Are these the sectors same. that you're required to have a certain level of qualification? Any job you can go. Any job that a man can get qualified at and get paid, a woman who is equally qualified, equally experienced, and has the same manner when it comes to working, because that's what we let women down. Their mannerisms when they go in, they either go in like, oh, you know, they're going too strong. But if you go in a job with the right frame of mind, and nowadays, the women are more qualified. From In my generation, that's what you're going to say. The- that's right. And, and I'll, I'll just put it this way. Yeah, the women, like, today, like... Again, I'll just put it this way. If you want to be an electrician, go get your electrician's license. I'm in life insurance and annuities and investments and retirement accounts and all of that. I have women that do a damn good job. Now, in this industry, you get paid by your work. There are women who out earn me by 10,000%. And I applaud them because they work their butts off. Okay? Now... If you want to go get your license in life insurance, if you want to go get qualified to be a plumber, if you want to go get qualified to be a chef, if you want to go, I don't care what the job is, you can do it. There is nothing stopping you. Okay. The women are more qualified in the old generation. We weren't that qualified. And the young generation, they're qualified now. So there is no reason for people to say, oh, but the men have got it now because they've earned more. That's rubbish nowadays, especially for the new generation. Because it's there for you on the plate. You got it better than us. Yes. Yeah. And to, but, but, but why are you saying logic? <laughs> I'm a feminist and I want to, I know you just proved me wrong, but still. Exactly. And freaking exactly. Okay. Now there's a plate in front of you and you can just. 48% of men go to college, graduate college compared to 52% of females. So 52% of females are getting college degrees. They are more qualified than the men. And we're actually seeing a shift now where there's a lot high, a lot more higher earning women. Women are now the higher earners. That's what they, they didn't want equality. They wanted that. Equality means a whole different thing. And we'll get into that because we're starting this on this channel. Yeah. And I know I'm probably going to lose subscribers. I don't care. At least I'm saying the truth. Okay. If you like what I do, subscribe. There you go. But that's exactly right. I mean, now you can go get qualified in what you want. You can get a degree in what you want. And now we can talk about the fact that college is very expensive. We can talk about that people have to work three jobs. We can talk about the fact that scholarships aren't really fair. We can talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about all of that. But it doesn't mean you can't find a workaround. It doesn't mean there's not a work. It doesn't mean that there's not a club you can join that can help you. It doesn't mean you can't get an assistantship to go get a master's degree. There are women that I know personally that got their batch. They got two bachelor's degrees. I have one that's 
a, a friend that's going to go get her master's and then she uh, she's on her way to getting her PhD and then she's going to go get a, a OD or whatever the hell it's called. She doesn't need all those degrees, but guess what? Okay, she okay, she's going to be more qualified than me, I know for sure, at something. So it's already there for you. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, so I don't understand, like, what does that have to do with me today? That, like, some women were locked out of education before I was born. How does that affect me? Because even in these environments, let's say uh, a woman has managed to get to, let's say, a very senior position. Mm -hmm. It's still an environment that is dominated by maleness, mm -hmm. especially white maleness. Maleness. Oh, maleness. Oh, no. There are guys around me. Oh, shoot. Oh my God, uh, there's a guy driving that train. The conductor's a man. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so for instance, if you're a white woman and you've now come into this space, you have to overcome the barrier of being a woman in a, a male dominated space. No, I don't. And Okay, so how would you how would you adapt? You work advice? hard. Speaking to the you work hard. Like that's what I see. Like every time someone blames their pay on the pay gap, they're lazy. Honestly, they're lazy because the pay gap doesn't exist. That's when right. When you take in, this is what you don't Absolutely. understand. You when you take into account personality differences between men and women, women don't ask for raises. That's, that's the problem. Right. Sixty percent of women have never asked for a raise, and you're going to complain that you don't get paid the same. You well, don't ask for a raise. Is, this Oh wait 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 but but you but you're saying the truth. I don't I don't like that. Ah! Oh my God, that's right. If sixty percent of women are not ask, not asking for a raise and eighty percent of men are, why aren't you asking for a raise? Ask for a damn raise. Maybe if you ask for a raise, go to your boss. If you are the lead person who handles marketing, and you are the only person in that department who can do it. You go to your boss and you say, I have done this for you. I've done that for you. I've done that for you. I need a raise. I think I deserve X percent. Your boss might say, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Because they will do that. But at least you tried. What I'm saying, the, the environment, a man, because this is an environment that men have been in. No, it's a before, choice. That's before, a choice. Before mm -hmm. women, if I personally, me mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. I would ask for a raise, but it's it's different because... The, it takes confidence mm -hmm. to ask for that confidence in yourself mm -hmm. and if you're in an environment that wasn't even made for people like you people like you for some women they would be some of the they would be some of the first people in that kind of environment and they have to thrive in that you have to overcome the barrier of having to adapt in that environment that's something a man doesn't have to think well, about. when there are quotas okay so there are so before she goes on yes there are quotas you have to work your ass off in that environment you have to work hard i'm in sales there are people who are my uplines that are earning eighteen thousand dollars a month i need to get there my female co-worker is earning way more than me why because she's working because she's working people that men that get promoted have to work 60 70 50 60 70 80 80 hours a week just to get promoted just for a $10 pay raise, just for a $2 pay raise, just for a cushier office. You got to work. If you don't work, you're not going to thrive. That's how it works, you feminist ass. There are specific quotas to give women jobs over men. That's right. Men don't have any quotas. So we're because giving they it. don't need it. No, no, because <laughs> they don't need it. They're men. They have everything. You don't need it. You can go get your goddamn job and get on the uh, get get in the office, get in that elevator and get your ass to work. That's what you can do. You literally have quotas that say hire more women than men. I have literally in my business, I've literally had people that didn't want to work with me because um, they saw that I had two men and two women. They're like, why don't you have more women? It's not about. Are you gay? Let me hire you. Are you a woman? Let me hire you. Are you a trans? Let me hire you. It's can you do the work? Are you qualified? Can I rely on you to make this business run? And women now have the quota that, oh, I'm a woman, so I'm definitely going to get hired more than a man. Men don't have that. It's not that we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it because men aren't looking for that. And watch what they say. 
<laughs> why why do they why do we need a quota? Do you not think women are qualified to get the job on their own? I didn't say that. No, but that's what you're implying but by saying we need quotas. That's what I said. No, 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 no. That's, that's right. why I said you can't ignore the history. No, because the, the reason the quotas are there. That's an excuse. Is due to the history. That, that's an excuse. an excuse. I'm not that's saying right. it's an excuse. Okay. Anyone can go out and get any job they want. Nothing's stopping us. There's that's no right. law stopping us. And if anything, there's incentives. I've, I mean, I've worked in a male dominated environment all my life. And Me I can too. honestly say I was the only black woman supervisor, Lost black it. woman manager. Props to and me. And it never, not props to me, it was a job. I didn't care whether I was black or not. I'm getting the money. I'm getting the same money as everybody else. To me, it didn't matter whether I was black or not. It was a job. Exactly. Nowadays, oh my God, the first black cashier. Woo-wee. Oh my God, the first black pilot. Oh my God! The first black female pilot or manager, yeehaw! And I do agree we need diversity in our workspaces, but nobody ever talks about is that Hispanic man, that white man, that black man, that Native American man, that Muslim man. Are they qualified? Show me their qualifications. Oh, now you're racist. Now you're racist. Now you're a xenophobe, homophobe, trumper. Ha, uh, Nazi. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Democrats are funding Nazis. It's not about all your black props, man. Yeah. You did it. You're black and you did it. You're Hispanic and you did it. I'm Mexican. I can say that. It's about, well, I had to do it because I needed to pay the goddamn bills and I needed to climb so that I could get paid more. Hello. It's a job. And the men have got the job. I've got the job. They're earning the same as me. And every year I make sure I got my pay rise the way they did. And you didn't. And I had the same hang attitude. Up. You didn't make it. I didn't, a hang no. Up. And the I, thing is, and the I, thing I, is with women, I find that when they go out, like, yes, your attitude has to change. I'm in a male environment. I'm with a load of males. So, yeah, I, you know what I mean? I can hold my own. Mm-hmm. I can have a conversation. I'm going to dress feminine, but I'm going to stand my own like masculine. But it's- Okay. So she's going to say something. That I think a lot of women these days, the younger generation, really don't understand. But exactly. She worked in a male-dominated environment. She got paid. She got her pay raise. She held her own against all those men. And she got what she deserved. She got the positions she deserved. She got the pay she deserved. Now, what happens when a lot of feminist females go out, act like a man and all masculine in the workplace? How do they react at home? But you see, when I step out of that house and I get home to my man, all feminine, oh, God. submissive. And that's what the women feel to realize now that the new generation, because you can go out there and you can do a job just as good as a man. And when you come home, you forget that you're a woman. You yep. still go on like you're a man. That's exactly. what the men don't like. I'm, I didn't. Okay. So, uh, uh, but, 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 but the truth, I, I, mean, I mean, exactly. We don't want you to be an unnecessarily argumentative your man shouldn't be unnecessarily argumentative if he's making baseless points babe, enough uh-uh no right right but we don't need you being all naggy to us we don't need you to be un- unnecessarily argumentative we don't need you to act masculine when you come back home because i'm not your boss i'm your husband right or i'm your boyfriend i need you to act Like my wife. And I'm not saying, act like my wife and get on the floor and scrub the grout. Cook my meal. No. Don't act like you do at the workplace at home. Okay? You don't expect your man to come to the house talking to you like he's a businessman. If he does, and I've met businessmen, they're so dull and boring. Oh boy, I feel bad for you. But you don't expect him to come in and say... Okay, ma'am, do you have the deal ready? Do you have the paper signed? Do you have the... Honey, I'm home. Honey, how are you? See how the man changes when he's not in the boardroom signing deals, making deals, creating investments for the company? Women need to start doing that. These women that are feminist and I don't need no man and I'm going to be masculine. Men don't like that. If I wanted to date a masculine person, I might as well be gay. I might as well go for another man. But since I like feminine energy... As my partner, I'm going to most likely date a female because I want someone that's going to be feminine. I didn't. I didn't everything you insinuated. I didn't. Bring it, I'm not I insinuating. Did, I'm just saying I'm speaking from experience because I don't want to hear the excuse of, oh, 
Because you're a woman, you've got to go in that environment and act a certain way. Rubbish. Because of your colour, rubbish. Because of your sex, rubbish. Because of the pay, rubbish. Because I've done it. And it's the norm. I've done it. So all women need to do, if you want to get paid more, the same way how you can speak up and say, oh, I'm a woman, this and that, speak up and say, excuse me, but I'm due a pay rise. Can I have my money? This is how hard I've worked. This is what I deserve. And this is what my contract says. No, that's what I'm yeah, look at her. Saying that now you can do that, but it hasn't always been like that. No, I'm like. older than you. I'm 53. I'm retired. So you can't say now you can do that because I've been doing it. Okay, but you can't. This is what I mean. You can't ignore the history. Okay, but before you. I'm she history. is history. I'm, oh, there you go. I'm the history. <laughs> I am the history. I am your Are history. You ignoring history. I right am now? 53. Oh. I am retired. I am your history. So you can't tell me to forget about the history and you because said I am the history. history. And before my but, history, you know, my mother done the same job as a black woman. I don't done the same I don't, job. I don't, <laughs> don't ignore the history, but this woman who's worked for 30 years is telling me history. <laughs> because she's telling me history. I, 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 she's ignoring the fact that she, don't ignore the history. Remember the history. God, but okay, but you can't forget the other history. You're ignoring the history in front of you. <laughs> I think that's so funny. She said, remember history and don't ignore history and then proceeds to ignore the history. <laughs> and like she just said, before her, her mom and her 50s must be in her 80s, 70s to 90s. And guess what? Her mama did the same thing. <laughs> I don't want to offend you, but... You can't offend like me. I'm that. too old for that. It's not like that in every oh, sector. Oh, that's a good point. It's not, uh, it's not like, like that. that. If, you're like talking about, if you're talking about the top sectors, because there's still, for instance, in if you're talking about science, if you're talking yeah. about tech, if you're talking about engineering, yeah. these sectors, there's still a lack of women. Why? And because the women... Go and do it. If I'm, there's a lack of women, go and do it. I wanted to be a bus driver. There was lack of women. You know what I've done? I didn't complain and say, there's no women bus drivers. Go and do it. They didn't have no managers. Go and do it. Don't sit back complaining that in these top sectors. Nowadays, you've got all the qualifications. You, the young people, you can go to university. You can get degrees. Go and do it. You know what I mean? Women are If you want to do it. something, well, don't like complain about said, it. Change it. Like, like he Boom! Isn't that what we said in the beginning of this clip? Isn't that what we said in the beginning of this video? You have all the goddamn qualifications. Young women today have even more qualifications than their parents, than their aunts and uncles before them, than their older cousins and siblings before them, than their ancestors before them, than their grandparents, their great grandparents, their great aunts, their great uncles, their great cousins, their friends and family older than them. They have it all today. She just pointed that out. Why is the fact, why, why is it that more companies are not hiring women tech people uh, i think it's because women aren't going for the jobs they're not wanting those jobs women have a preference i'm not saying it's all women but if if we're going by her illogical sense because there's no logic in this in this girl at all um in many but if we're going off of that okay well why aren't women going for these jobs? Women have to women have to start going for these jobs. If you have every degree in front of you, you have every qualification in front of you, universities will haul, uh, will will accept more women than men these days. Companies are begging women to come to them. More journal in our journal my journalism field, women are getting more jobs than men. They are hiring more women. I have I've had more female professors than I've had male professors. By a long shot. And I've been in school six years. I know. Forever. Right? Too long. But I've been in school longer. There is no, okay, and I mean no reason for women to say, oh, there's a lack of, but then there's a lack in the top sectors. There's a lack of women CEOs. Start a business. Go to school. Get that job. Like he said, women are doing it, but the results are still not nah, the same. Not nah, really. Nah, they're not, not really. doing they're it. Not they're not doing it. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. Women, guys, women are the time. most educated, but they don't make more money because they, they have a ton of debt. And women don't make the majority of workplace deaths. Where's the equality? Where are the marches? Men are the majority of workplace deaths. They do all of the hard jobs. Therefore, they get more money. Do you want to be a plumber? Do you want to be a bricklayer? The only the only jobs you're seeing are the the two percent of jobs like CEOs power power positions hypothetically. But my dad was one of those top one percent CEOs. He worked eighty hours a week Look for forty asked. years. Do you want to do that? I don't. Most women don't. They want to have kids. 
look, she's going to move the goalpost again. But exactly. A lot of women don't want to work 60, 80 hours a week. If you're like, I'm a boss, babe, and I'm going to work 85 hours a fucking week because I'm a boss, babe. I'm going to get the bag. You're going to also probably be 38 years old, 35, 36. Um, the men that wanted you and you passed over because they weren't the 1% or the six feet tall men, they're not going to want you anymore. They probably already got married to someone who saw value in them. So they're not going to want you. Young guys are only going to want to sleep with you. It, it's just the way it goes. Um, and, uh, it'll probably be an older man that'll want you because they typically date younger. And most times you're going to be alone with cats and your boxed wine. I'm sorry, but that's the way. And uh, you see these stories coming out more these days. Okay. Uh, so women are, they're more educated. 52% of females are going to college and graduating compared to 47, 48% of men, but they're not going for those jobs that would require that, that hard work. I'm not saying it's every woman, but I don't I don't know any woman who's a bricklayer or who will dig underground to mess with electric electric uh electricity with the poles down and under. I don't know any woman that will uh when the power lines go out is going to go out there and put them back up. I don't know any 93% of men uh, of construction worker deaths are men. So 93% of men who work in construction workers are dying. Uh, 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 I'll put it this way. 93% of the workplace deaths are men, especially in, con in construction. At UNLV right now, there's construction. You know who I see? All men. I don't see any female working that job. Not because they won't, uh, not because they won't hire, but because women aren't going for that. I went up to the, to the lead construction guy who's uh, ordering people around and doing his job. I said, sir, I have a question. He said, yes. I said, uh, I, I'm paraphrasing. Okay. How many women do you have on this, I, on this team? He said, well, all of them are logistics. You know, they're back at the office. I said, now, do they want to come out? He said, no. He said, apparently they did a, uh, like a, a, a call out to say, hey, who would like to come in? Both men and women are welcome. Only the men showed up. There are men 58 feet, 20, 20, 30 feet high in the air, handling ceilings and handling vents and handling this and handling all of that on top of that building. They could fall and fall to their deaths at any second. But with the women not going for that job. Okay. Okay. That's again, that's why I said. This is you can't ha you can't mix the two because you're saying women should focus with what you're saying. You're saying women should focus on having kids. And for that reason, they wouldn't be able to do the 80 hours a week. No, it's, I'm not. I'm not yeah. saying what women should and shouldn't do. I'm saying I don't like excuses. I'm because, not making. I'm not no, making because you are. You're blaming. You're blaming the pay gap on being a I'm woman. Not, I'm not blaming the you're, pay. You're saying. I'm you're saying, saying we need to be aware. Of, you're you saying. We, you're saying we need to be aware of our history. I'm saying that has nothing to do with me today. I was born in 2022. There is nothing that is holding me back as a woman. If anything, it's offered me advantages because all the men hiring are attracted to you. That's right. No, I. That's I, you, you. You apply for a job. You're a pretty young girl. Most men that hire you are going to be attracted That's to you. That's right. Be young again. I'll do it all again. <laughs> Youth is wasted I do it better too. Do you not believe that? Oh, to be young again. No. 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 It's true. No. She said no. It's true. And no. It... Oh my God. No, you're telling me the truth. No, I don't like this. Stop. It's the truth. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Most of the men, and it's it's a shitty it's a shitty thing, but they are attracted to you. They should be hiring off your qualifications. I'm sure they do, but he, you know that man is attracted to you. You know it, and most women will not work sixty to eighty hours a week. They just won't. Even though that's even those that don't have kids, most of them won't. The thing is, you you, you were talking about history. Ah. Oh! Can you guys just please stop debunking all my bullshit? And that uh, men had a head start. It's been that way since the dawn of time. And it's only recent that we've come into this, this, this time. And, and the, the outcomes are terrible. This is the mm. first time we're changing it. You know, I'm a boss lady. I'm making money. I'm getting the bag. And look, 50% of women are by themselves. Crying one, one, with one, the one in four women are an anti uh, one in four women are on antidepressants. And on top of that, how can we say we were disadvantaged before when we didn't have to fight in wars? 
So before I go, and exactly. So you're going to be a boss, babe, and you're going to go out and get that quota because they, they uh, now you have to hire a lesbian, you have to hire a gay, you have to hire a trans, you have to hire a woman, a white woman, a Hispanic woman, a woman that's 5'2", a woman that's 5'6", a woman that's 3'2", uh, 8 foot tall, a woman just period. Men don't have that, okay? So if you're going to be that boss, babe, you're also going to most likely you have a one in four chance of being on antidepressant. You're going to own 60% of the death, two thirds of, of, of the debt in the country. Um, you're going to be alone. You're going to be with your cats. You're going to be with your box of wine and you're going to have $700,000 in the bank. And yet you're not going to have anyone to share that with. You're not going to have anyone to, even if you want to do it with another girl, I don't give a damn. I, I approve of gay and lesbian relationships, but the point is you're not going to have anyone to go, babe, you want to go on vacation? Babe, you want to go to the, because most of your girlfriends are already going to be married. They're going to have kids. Hey, girl, you want to go to Spain with me next week? Oh, kids have practice. Oh, my hubby and I, uh, we got a date night. Oh, you know what? My hubby and I are already going on vacation. You're going to all miss out on that. The men were the ones that had to go fight in words. We'll say my body, my choice all day, but we'll never talk about their body, their choice when they get drafted. That's right. That's right. How about those guys? Now, men and women. All went to Afghanistan, all went to Iraq, all went to Syria, all went to Libya, all went to... Men and women did it. But who are the women that are going to the Navy Who are the women that are going to the Navy SEALs? Nobody. Uh, you, you talk to a lot of Navy people, they will tell you that. How many people were fighting in World War I? Not that there weren't women trying. Yeah, they're right. But most of the women were like, uh-uh. Nope. You talk to an average woman today, and I, a, a feminist, and I'll, I've asked them, would you go in, uh, in the middle of Iraq in some hut out in the middle of the desert doing nothing but taking bombs and bullets everywhere? <sighs> no. Okay, then. Shut up. Women, the majority of women didn't even want the right to vote because it came with the responsibility of getting drafted. So most girls are like, I'm going to chill in the kitchen. And I absolutely would chill in the ch kitchen if that was the same thing today. So that's the mindset that that's the mindset that she had. Again, I wouldn't say that the mindset that I have is the mindset of the majority. But again, like I said. It is the mindset of the majority of feminists today. And a lot of older women who are feminists today, they will say that. Okay, unfortunately, that is today. The majority of women today do think like her. You can't use that to you can't use that to just dismiss what has happened. Like he said, he said men, he said that men have had their head start and it's been like that since the dawn of time. But now that times are changing, you guys are still you are still placing the value of women on fertility and in the sexual marketplace. I did not say personal value. I said that's right in the sexual marketplace. Women are valued for their fertility, and yes, I, I got to go back to what uh, I think Blessing said in that post, in, uh, in that uh, in that uh, uh, confrontation, whatever, in that interaction. He said it's been like this since the dawn of time. We have established for t five to twelve thousand years how things work, and now without any testing, without any proof of how it works, without any anything, we are changing that. I think that's borderline ridiculous and it, it's created disastrous results. Said so in the sexual marketplace. Okay, so the men, the fact you mentioned that a man had to do 80 hours a week, why can't a woman do that then? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking. Why a won't woman she? can, they choose not they to. Choose. That's right. I'm telling you, like, I, I watched my dad work his whole life. I didn't know my dad really until I was older. I barely saw him. And... I, I most women would not sign up for that. They can't keep lawyers at high end law firms past like the age of 35 because they say, screw this. I have all the money I want. All I want now is a family. They, they can't pay these women to stay because after a certain age, your looks are starting to go. You're, you're, what are you doing this for after you make a certain amount of money? That's right. Exactly. Camille Vasquez, that 30 year old lawyer or 38 year old lawyer who is a boss babe and she's a queen and she freaking blew Amber Heard out of the water. I love Camille Vasquez. She's a, a, a Brown Rutnick. One of the biggest high-end law firms in New York City, okay? Earning probably millions of dollars now as a partner with, uh, with uh, Ben Chu and the CEO of Brown Rutnick, 
who had to book her as get her as a partner before they took her. Another law firm took her. Guess what? Even she has a boyfriend. A boyfriend. They can't pay these women enough. They $10 million a year. Nope. 20. Nope. 500. Nope. Because, again, they just won't do it. They want a family. They have all the money in the bank. They have all the investments in the world. They probably have properties. They probably did it right. But now they want someone to share it with. That's not a bad thing at all. That's a good thing. But this girl doesn't see it that way. So again, the thing that's limiting women is what? They're based off what you just said. They're personal nothing. choices. And I don't think it's limiting women. I don't. Women. So if there's nothing stopping us from doing anything today and more women say, hey, I would rather stay home or take a lower paying job that I like instead of doing the shitty job that all the men are doing. Why is that a bad thing? You can't say personal choice because a man doesn't have to make that choice. Yes, he that's, does. Yes, that's he my does. point. A man can make Absolutely. a choice of, do I want to go into education, which pays less, or do I want to be a plumber that pays more? Do I want to work in an oil rig that pays more, or do I want to be a custodian that pays way less? Do I want to be a, a teller at the bank, or do I want to be a private banker that pays more? Uh, do I want to be a grocery store cashier, or do I want to be a grocery store manager that pays a little bit more? Do I want to be the manager or do I want to be the branch manager? Do I want to be the branch manager or do I want to be the general manager that handles everybody, every freaking store in every branch in the goddamn city? Do I want to be the man, branch manager or the general manager or do I want to be the vice president or the president of operations? Those are choices we have to make. Why would I want to be the president or the vice president, vice president or president of operations? Because it pays more. You mentioned at 35, women go off and that's when they go and start their family. A man could have had a family up until that point. He doesn't have to make that choice. Yes, that's he does. What I'm saying. No, he can, he can be a stay-at-home dad if he wants to. That's right. But you can't get rid of our biological roots. He can also make that choice. He could go get a sugar mama. <laughs> if, I mean, certain men, not everyone has that. Not, <laughs> not all guys can pull that off. But, but you see what I'm saying? He could... He could do a 50-50 relationship. There's nothing stopping us from making these choices. It's just women don't want to work hard jobs. Men do. I just think women have got more choices now. And they're just using than excuses. Ever. They've got more choices than ever. They're more powerful than ever. Yep. They've got more rights, more everything than everything. what I had in the past. But what are the She's outcomes? History. They're more unhappier than ever. Right. Yeah, right. One in four women are on antidepressants. Women own two-thirds of the debt. Even though they make less money, 70 to 80% of consumer decisions are made by women. W married women are more likely to be divorced three years after their promotion to CEO levels compared to their male counterparts. Wow. So one in four chances of being on antidepressant, uh, antidepressants uh, have a 60% chance of owning more debt than a man uh, are 70 to 80% more likely to buy than a man they 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 ha are 70 to 80 percent more of the consumer buying decisions than a man and um they are three times more like they, they are more likely to leave their relationship and divorce their man three years after getting a ceo promotion or a, a big promotion in general so what is that correlation i wonder and they're still unhappy and they divorce men 70 to 80 percent of the time not to mention, uh, so, and you're 70 to 80% likely, more likely than men to divorce. So women have a history of leaving more times than a man and 90% more. So if it's 70 to 80 in general, 90% more if they're college educated, 90% of the child support goes to from men to women and 97% of the alimony goes from men to women. How do you not see that? There's a correlation here. Again, like I said, I don't think the mindset that I have is the mindset of the majority of women. Wrong. But again, you can't dismiss the things that are the things that are um, restrict limiting women mm -hmm. from getting to that point. You can't dismiss it. What is limiting us in 2022? If, if I've gone and I've had a child, if I was okay, let's say for instance, I was in the middle of my degree mm -hmm. and I've had a child. I, I'm not in the same position as a man at all. Did you choose way... to have the child? Boom. Okay, what about the states where abortion is, le is not legal? Okay, that's incorrect. Moving the goalpost. It's not go. illegal Look. in the US. Look, she moved the goalpost. 
At first, she was saying, hey, look, uh, I, if I have a baby. Okay, well, now abortion. Okay, well, now we're going into abortion. Why are you moving the goalpost? She's moving the goalpost because she's trying to find a way to be right. No, I said, what about the states? The that- states. States in general. You, I'm not you, talking about the oh, United I'm, States. I'm talking about states in general. No, I'm saying I'm saying in the United States, abortion is not illegal. You Watch, get look, a car and drive to, to another state that has abortion. I'm not talking about the United States. I'm talking oh. about states in general. I'm talking about the world in general. I feel like a lot of what we're saying and a lot of what we're mm-hmm. discussing mm-hmm. is focusing on the developed world. It's ignoring because we're, because we're in the West. That's what we're talking about. The West. Okay, but I don't think we could. We should ignore the reality of so many women. But I'm saying you're moving the goalpost. You go. We were discussing the West, and now you're saying, "Well, what about what about the not the West?" But we're okay, talking okay, about the sorry. West. Okay, sorry. I'll yeah. talk about women. I'm talking about women generically. Uh-huh. Generically, because when you're bringing, when you're talking about the debt, you're talking about all of those <laughs> things. Mm-hmm. That's women in the West, and those are choices they're making. So feel- would you, would you agree? There's nothing holding back women in the West. There's nothing oppressing us. History doesn't matter because mm. we're all born today. Nothing. We're cool. There's nothing. Nothing to complain about. Look. Does she agree? I would say we're not as limited as people in the developing world. That's what I would say. <laughs> Let me. F- I don't really want to look stupid, even though I already look stupid. Let me answer this question as uh, not in the West. <laughs> She's an illogical, illogical piece of shit. She's a feminist piece of crap. And she's going to end up alone. All her excuses were debunked. And um, we're going to start doing this on this channel because I feel like politics has allowed this to happen. And I think the male and female politicians in our country, women are the biggest vote. And they're afraid. And, st- and, and they're afraid of standing up for the truth anyway. But... um. Yeah, that that was insane. So the pay gap does not work. Any woman can go get any job they want, any qualification they want, uh, any position they want, any pay raise they want. They have all the degrees in front of them. They are 58% more likely to graduate college than a man who's 47 to 48% more likely. Uh, and, and And they have quotas and incentives. And they get paid to get uh, married and divorced. So, uh, you know, and walk away. They go in with nothing nothing, and walk away with everything. We'll go into all of that on this channel. We're going to do it. I'm sorry, but we're, we're going to have to. So it's, um, it's amazing how now people are starting to uh, debunk the pay gap. And, uh, man, we got to go over the soccer pay gap, too, because Megan Rapino and Alex Morgan, all those dumbasses who got smoked by a high school football team, a high school soccer team, they got beat they got manhandled and not man oh they got manhandled up they just they lost to a high school football team a high school soccer team they're the u.s women's soccer team shouldn't they win and they're still demanding equal pay it's a whole mess and the media and the male soccer team are spineless assholes and fools and they just let it happen and that's the reason we get girls like this